Welcome to the very first episode of Caffeined with your hosts Lydia, Maggie, and Bryce. Today we'll be discussing the potential downsides of caffeine consumption and the upsides. Well, sometimes the upsides. We might have to save that for the next episode. But you're going to have to wait until the end to find out if we do or not. We'll all have a general understanding of caffeine. But for those who are who don't, caffeine is a psychoactive drug giving a person energy when consumed. Caffeine can be ingested in the form of drinks, patches, and pills, with the most common form in coffee. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I know a thing about um, some caffeine pills and what they can do to a person. Orly Bryce, tell us more. Past cross-country season, me and my teammate Garrett, he he was training for some marathons or half marathons and whatnot. And our coach advised us to take caffeine pills for him so like we'll stay energized throughout the whole race. Um, and he he told me he's like Bryce before our cross meet maybe you should take some caffeine pills maybe like that'll help you PR or something. I was like okay you know what I'll try I'll do it. So before our race, like about 30 to like 45-ish minutes before our race, I took two caffeine pills. But as I noticed, like as time went on, I started to like freak out. Like I started to like shake and like my anxiety went up. Like I was tweaking out. And then as it started getting closer and closer to like start time, I was like, I felt like I was moving like about a thousand miles a minute. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, and I asked my teammate Garrett, I was like, Garrett, how many did you take? He's like, oh, I only took one. And then I looked at the bottles and I noticed that each pill was 500 milligrams of caffeine. Oh my God. That is way (laughs) too much for a person to be taking. I had, I had a thousand milligrams of caffeine at once. Um, and then the race. It started, okay, so we did our race or whatnot. I felt super good. I was using all of that energy from the caffeine pills throughout my whole race. So I ended up getting a PR that race. Um, And then after the race was done, I started working on my cool down, you know, just trying to like take it easy now that I did a really hard race. So I started my two mile cool down and as I started running, I noticed that like all my muscles were like tensing up all at once, like at the same time. So I was like, oh shoot, I'm going to cramp. So I was like freaking out. So I like turned around, I started running back towards team camp. And then I I ran up to my coaches. Uh, I was like, Toddy, like I, I, if I stop moving, I will cramp. Like I was running in circles around them. And then they were like freaking out because they were like, oh no, like how do we do this safely? So you don't, so you don't cramp. (laughs) And then I stopped moving, and then instantly, oh. I had my calves cramp. <laughs> Both of them started cramping at the same time. So I fell on the ground. Ouch. I was, like, yelling out in pain because I, I've never actually really had calf cramps before, mm-hmm. or, like, cramps before like that. Like, that <laughs> was terrible. Like, you could s- visibly see the muscles in my calf legs, like, twitching and straining and pulling on each other. Like, it was terrible. Um, so, like, as I fell on the ground, like, my coaches, they were, like, gathered around me. They mm-hmm. were, like, they were kind of, like, putting my legs up in the air. So, I'm laying flat on my back, and my legs are, like, straight up in the air. And they're, like, stretching them out, trying to stop the cramping from happening. And I, I was in tears. Like, I was, like, yelling in pain. It hurt so bad. And then one leg eventually turned into the other. So, I... They stopped cramping. I was able to get back up, and then my uh, my leg started to cramp again. Just one leg, and then as I was, I fell down on the ground again. And as that other leg started cramping, the other one started cramping again. Oh my so God. I, they were both cramping. They cramped two times each. So I was on the ground yelling in so much pain, and then after that, um, I decided I will not take caffeine pills ever again. Yeah, it was it was pretty pretty scary to see. I was there with Bryce to stretch him out a little bit of that, and I'm like I'm cringing as he's telling that story right now. Um, I am an advocate advocate for caffeine, but in moderation. You know, maybe like a good 920 milligrams less than what you took. I yep. feel like is a yeah, suffice amount. I feel like that's a pr- an appropriate amount. Yeah.
Yeah, caffeine can have a big effect on one's body and the withdrawals are insane, hence from Bryce's story. Caffeine can help with endurance, which in your case, it sounded like it did, but then came the aftermath. Energy from caffeine is like a high, but a person has to come back down from it at some point. Caffeine is a stimulant that goes that helps release calcium ions into the skeletal muscles. This helps make your muscles move in a way that they need to. But too much of it makes your muscles stay contracted, contracted, and then they cannot uncontract, which is what's causing your excessive whoa, 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 whoa. cramping. Maggie, I dropped A and P for a reason. Come on now, let's let's get past <laughs> all the sciencey stuff. Um, but if caffeine is consumed too much, it can definitely have harmful effects on your body. But in moderation, it can be very helpful helpful from individual to individual. Uh, caffeine can also increase productivity as well as energy to get things done and complete workouts. That's why it's widely used by adult workers and athletes at all levels. But we're talking about college students here. Do they really know moderation? I think that some do and some don't. And if you have experiences like Bryce, then you should be able to learn from them and not repeat the same mistake. A person's bedtime or a person's sleep can also be really messed up from caffeine, causing them to not be able to fall asleep for hours after their normal bedtime. Bryce, you might know a little bit about this. Um. Really, I do. I don't even remember the last time I can truly say I had a full eight hours of sleep. <gasps> well, do you drink caffeine every day, Bryce? Um, you can't talk, girl. Like, you have a 12 pack of Red Bulls in your car right now, and like three in your room. Don't wait on my Red Bulls. I need them every day. They give me wings. Sounds like a codependency if you ask me. How would I be codependent on a drink? I thought that was only with people and drugs. Funny that you say that, but caffeine is technically a legal drug. With that, caffeine comes a lot of drug characteristics, like being addictive. And when a person cuts out caffeine, they can go through withdrawals, like headaches. Or like with my freak accident with my race and my muscles cramping. Exactly. Race, you're a freak accident. No, I'm just kidding, but I do know a girl that had a freak accident. Oh, really? Who? Yeah, she's actually here today in the studio. She's super busy, but she was able to find time to come visit us. Um, you're not, you're not talking about the famous Hope, are you? Oh, yes, I am. freshman here at Viterbo. She's also now deathly afraid of drinking energy drinks because of one very bad experience. Now let's welcome Hope. Hey guys. Hi Hope. Um, so now Hope, I know you had a little freak accident from caffeine, but I wanted to hear your story about your bad experience. Yeah, of course. I got a C2 energy drink from the vending machine. It was Skittled flavored. I was actually, I actually got three of those over the course of three days. By the third day, I had it in the morning on an empty stomach and I started feeling super nauseous. Like it felt like my stomach was turning over and yeah, I got sick right after and never looked back. Like since then, I have not touched any energy drinks that have an artificial candy as the main flavor. Wow, sounds like my story. <laughs> Are you an avid caffeine drinker or do you, do you like coffee or other drinks? I actually really love teas. A teas? Yes, mm. I love tea. Oh, a little Earl Grey. Mm. Yes! A matcha. Oh my gosh, matcha tea. I love matcha tea. Okay. <laughs> I don't yes. think matcha has as much as C4s. Uh, definitely not, it's definitely though. definitely natural caffeine as well. Yeah, so that would definitely be natural caffeine, which means that you probably didn't have a tolerance to the C2s. I think we checked those out and it was like 200 milligrams. So that on an empty stomach has to be quite different than drinking a tea. Yeah, it was pretty scary, and I probably won't be picking up any of those drinks again. Yeah, after that story, I don't think I'll be drinking energy drinks either. Well, guys, this has been great, but I gotta go. I'm a busy gal, and I gotta take pictures for the Lumen. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you so very much for being here with us today, Hope. We appreciate you so very much. Well, listeners, if you're not scared, uh, if we haven't scared you off yet about the effects of caffeine, then you must not have listened. <laughs> no, like, honestly, this story might have me stop drinking Red Bull. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not <laughs>
We all know that's not going to happen. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, so make sure to tune in next week to hear about how caffeine can help one student strive in school and in track. Yes, we have a very special guest coming. But until then, maybe rewatch this podcast. Until then, maybe go throw away all your energy drinks from the fridge. We'll see you next time on Caffeine. listeners thanks again for listening to caffeine with lydia maggie and yours truly bryce here are a few funny bloopers that i think might make you laugh and google thanks again for listening are you an avid caffeine drinker or do you do you like coffee or other drinks oh we didn't put a line in there <laughs> <laughs> all right guys what do you want to say <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> and, oh my goodness like so like Nothing compared to like my cramping, but like wow, like, are you an avid, cr- uh, like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, this All is right. just added. Wait. Um- <laughs>